hello everyone welcome to my channel in this uh, video we'll be learning about how we can convert our optical cross value to spiro cylindrical value this type of conversion is important when we wanted to convert our gross or net retinoscopy value to spiro cylindrical value optical or power cross values are represented in this way where each line is representing the principal meridian so one will be our power meridian and other will be our axis meridian so how we can convert our optical cross to the spiro cylindrical form so step one is to find the spherical power to find the spherical power we gonna choose either one of principal meridian as our sphere so we gonna choose either of one out of these two principal meridian as our spherical value in our case we gonna choose plus three as a spherical value so step two is to find out the cylindrical power we gonna subtract principal meridian which was taken as the sphere from the other principal meridian which was not taken as the sphere in our case we gonna subtract the power which was taken as a sphere and we gonna subtract it with the power which was not taken taken as the sphere will be equal to minus 5 dioptrical cylinder so step 3 is to find the axis of the cylinder axis of the spiro cylinder form will be towards meridian 1 which was taken as the sphere so meridian 1 was towards this side so our axis will be towards 180 now we're gonna write it in a spiro cylinder form so we're gonna first write our adapter sphere which we have found in the step number one then we're gonna write adapter cylinder which we have found in step number two and axis towards the 180 degree so this is the spiro cylindrical form of this optical cross so we're gonna take one more example where this is our optical cross form and we want to convert it into a spiro cylinder form so step one is uh, we're gonna take either one of these two principal meridian as our spherical value so we're gonna take plus two dioptrical spherical as our cylindrical value so step two is we're gonna subtract our spherical value from the other principal meridian which was not taken as the sphere total will be minus four dioptrical cylinder so step three is axis will be towards the principal meridian which was taken as a sphere in our case that is 135 so now we're gonna write this in a spiro cylinder form so first is spherical power plus 2 which we have found in our step number 1 then cylindrical power which we have found in step number 2 axis towards the 135 which we have found in step number 3 so this will be our spiro cylinder form of this optical cross so thank you everyone i hope you like the video if you like the video please do like and subscribe and put your queries in the comment section i'll be happy to reply them